Sargon Destroyer of Worlds here and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. Thanks for joining me. I very much appreciate it. Uh, we are back here in the city of Bytown. Welcome back. And as you can see, this area, the Central Experimental Farm, has changed since its initial inception. And as you can see, the completed Arboretum from our last episode, things are looking pretty good. But we have to decide where to go next and what is on the game plan for today. And as we swing around to the Public Works campus area that we built in episode four, there is an elephant in the room that we need to talk about. And no, it's not the purple and it's not the, uh, the industry that has disappeared, it is something else. Let's get into it. So as you can see in this area, we have some industry, we have some services. Uh, let's get the game running so that we can also get rid of this little tram line that's a little confused. Uh, we have our helicopters and yeah, we've got some other things. And that is around our, you know, our water sources as well as our sewage treatment. You know, these are operating, they're fine, they're doing their job. You know, if we come in here, you know, doing everything they're supposed to. Except if we have a look, we are on the, the edge. We are just in the green, so we really can't do any more development. So now we could come in and just look at our budget and go, hey, oh, wait a minute. We we're already 115% up, so I could, I could crank it. Or we could actually take a look at dealing with this problem both for here and the long term. So simple solution would be is I could come in and just use the base game assets and add some more inland treatments, add some more water pumping stations. Now between these two assets, I don't have any problems with these. They actually look pretty good. And we'll, we'll get into uh, you know the, the realism of these and, and they're pretty close. However, these multi-story uh, water pumping stations stick out like a sore thumb. So we got this building next to it. One, two, three, four. Looks like a four-story building. And you know, there's some gigantic thing that uh, I, I don't think fits, fits the game at all. So with that said, uh, we're gonna take a quick flashback and look what we did back in episode 11 where we built a custom power station, you know. So as you can see here, uh, you know, very few assets from the vanilla game and a number from the workshop, which really makes this area look, you know, very realistic, or at least more realistic than just plunking down the uh, oil plants and other things that we had back in this public works area. So we're, we're gonna take the same thing and take the same approach. So we need to have a look at where these normally sit in uh, a city and what they look like. So let's go have a look at Google Earth. So if we have a look at Google Earth here, you can see the Robert Pickard, uh, or Picard uh, Environmental Center. Uh, it is a uh, sewage treatment plant uh, here in Ottawa, Canada. And you can see how much space this actually takes up quite sizable uh, all the way uh, up to just before there's a green belt area and some pass but it is right next to some light industrial you can see a bunch of soccer fields and as well as a big residential area right beside it as well as uh, as the river so we you know we'll, we'll kind of take inspiration from where this is placed but let's have a look see you know in terms of what we have and understanding what we need to look at so I don't know precisely what necessarily all of these uh, assets are because it is hard to tell what's in, obviously what's in which building, but we can see a few key features, uh, including what is likely this area is a uh, you know a grit uh, chamber or bar screening, and that's what these areas could be here as well. But these are clarifiers, which we'll talk about what they do. Uh, and this is a biogas area, and these are definitely, let me just double check, these are aeration basins in here in the middle. And likely some of these are, as well, uh, disin 
infection, disinfection areas, which we'll talk about. So quite quite a lot a uh, lot here. So this is kind of this is kind of the inspiration we're going to take from, and we're going to use some uh, workshop assets from Avania. Uh, but before we get to placing them, we have some work to do. So let's uh, jump back into the game. Okay, so we're back here in the game. So we have to find an area where we want to do. Uh, so, you know, could I repurpose this area? Absolutely. And as you saw from Google Earth, you know, these things are near, you know, uh, livable areas uh, and other areas that are well used by the public. So I could make this a, a proper campus, but I think this land is much more valuable. Uh, and actually, let's just take a quick look at the land values. So this Arboretum area is quite valuable. Uh, as well as these areas over here. And obviously this this is just in the middle of the road, but that's because it's a lot of industrial and currently polluted. So that, that I think we can change later. Let's go have a look at uh, some possible locations. So where we've developed the city, as you can see, we have our power uh, plant area in this bottom corner. Uh, with its own little foggy park. I should probably uh, look at a better name for the actual little custom park we put behind it. But I, I want to keep this close to the city. So I don't, I don't want to move the move it all the way out here to the power station area and I have some ideas for development in this area. So let, let's have a look. So the area I am going to uh, place this uh, custom sewage plant area is over here. As you can see, we've got Barlow Trail. Uh, which is actually doing quite well. Let's have a look, see. Uh, 16,000 visitors. Uh, although the Arboretum is hot on its tail with, with 5,000. So doing good, doing good. So if we look over here, we can see, you know, it's a very nice area of development uh, right along this highway, which is going to be not the most desirable of lands and somewhat uh, close to the river on either side. Uh, you know, you can imagine piping would run from one side to the other. Uh, we, we will not be simulating that. The game doesn't do that too, too well. But so let's, let's get started at building this. Before we get started, we do need to have a look at our topography. Just come up here. And as you can see, very steep bank coming up from the things we have here, all the various services comes up and it peters out just around this tree here. So we'll look to build uh, everything up in this area, uh, just past this tree. Uh, we might develop some land here later on, but for now, we are gonna focus on the sewage treatment plant. So uh, we will come up and we're going to first start off by using our rural roads. And we'll lay down a quick marker just so we remember where uh, the line is. Uh, okay, and we'll just use a regular dirt road here. So we're basically gonna look to run parallel. Now, I don't wanna run right up against it um, for a few reasons. One, it's going to think it should attach, but I wanna leave space for fencing and a little bit of landscaping. So why don't we come in Uh, I guess it's six units. And we will just run a road right down. We'll see how far we actually need to go back. And we have tree anarchy on. So actually, oh, why don't we make this a little easier on ourselves? Let's remove all of these trees. Okay, so with those trees removed, we come back in, grab our road. And I think this is probably a good spot to come across. Keep things at a 90. We'll do 30 units for now. So if we look and at some of our assets uh, from Avanya, uh, we do have an administration and laboratory building. Now, this would be one of the primary buildings that would be at the front of the facility. Uh, now let's have a look, we'll place it. Oh, hang on, let's uh, get the time of day right because we don't work at night. 
Boom, there we go. Uh, we are back in daytime. So I would like to see this at the front, uh, or at least facing uh, the entrance area uh, as people come in. I think that would look pretty good. I also want to make sure that is somewhat centered. And I do know I have a little fix to do here. Let me just come back and make a quick update. We have things fixed there. So we're gonna come up with an industrial road. Make sure we have everything on. And now we're gonna come and curve this road up. So this is where I would like to see the entrance. So if we pull this down, probably pull it back a bit. But we should see here, yeah, it is it is unhappy uh, because it needs a road connection. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with one of our parking lot roads. Uh, since this is more of an industrial area, we'll use the poorly maintained. And we'll pull it back a little behind the building and that should at least solve the road warning. So good, we're good there. So this has uh, access uh, and we will actually take this opportunity to make sure we have all the space we need. The main road uh, running along here will also be uh, industrial, but we're gonna run uh, one year roads going through most of the facility. I'm gonna come back. Uh, we will run a road once again. Uh, we'll keep this since it's main part of the facility. Hey, we, we reached level four. So our main part of our facility, we'll run a road along here. Run it to keep it even with this for now. Now it's important to look at what a sewage plant basically has. It has four levels of treatment. It's got a pre-treatment, primary treatment, secondary treatment, and a tertiary or, or final treatment before things uh, head back into uh, water that we use. Uh, so the pre-treatment uh, is uh, combined generally of two buildings, a bar and grit uh, screening building, which we do have as part of the Avanya assets. And that is this grit and screen facility. So this would be one of the first things where all the wastewater would come in. That's a nice little building. And we're going to place that as something that would be very close to the facilities of the administration where a lot of things would be controlled and start pushing the rest of the, uh, basically the plant area back from this. Now, it does two things, uh, so it's very important to understand what this uh, part of pretreatment does. So basically the water uh, or the sewage comes and it starts here. And basically there's a bar facility or a bar thing, which basically it's a big bar screen that removes large debris and that stuff gets shipped off to the landfill, uh, such as uh, toys, lumber, and kind of leaving one and two to pass right through it. So yes, uh, one and two goes through this and goes off through the to the grit chamber. So generally combine these two buildings and this the grit chamber uh, helps get rid of stuff that, uh, you know, stuff that will generally go down the sink like coffee grains and corn and eggshells and etc. And this stuff is removed in the grit chamber and then sent to composting or landfill, depending uh, what's what's available in the area. So if we have that, uh, that looks pretty good. And we will make this as a main building and we'll put some other uh, 
things around here uh, when we do some detailing time lapse. But behind this, uh, we then move off to our primary treatment area. We'll have a quick look at the asset. It's basically a primary clarifier. Now, Avania provides two assets, this active sludge and a clarifier. Now, they both look very similar, but it's hard to tell with his assets as to whether this is a covered facility or not, uh, as well as this clarifier. So the way I see this one, uh, and from my understanding of how things work, is a primary clarifier is typically covered. So this one looks a little more or covered to me than this, this asset, but it could just be how it's built. And that's to help keep odors down and uh, basically solids. Uh, so now we get into the, 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 uh, the fun part of this. The solids, AKA number two, uh, sinks to the bottom and then goes off to be composted or off to a biogas facility, along with what's called fog, fats, oil, and grease. So this stuff is removed. So, you know, stuff that tends to go down the sink as well, uh, gets removed from the process. So we will look to use these ones, these larger ones, as uh, the primary clarifier system. And I do wanna run those uh, behind here. So we will, once again, we're gonna run a one year road. We'll leave some space. And we are going to place There we go. We will place this as part of our primary clarif or the uh, as our primary clarifier. But we're actually going to place two of them. Uh, usually these do come in pairs, uh, and it definitely you would want to back up either way. And even though this all this train did look. Flat. And it looks like we do have a bit of an issue, so we will come back and fix this a little later. But you'd want two, um, you know, not the deal necessarily with one and two, but you know, one fails, you don't want to not have the ability to take care of things here. So we are gonna place two. Now behind those, we will run some roads here as well. Uh, and we will need to put, no, not clarifiers. Um, uh, and actually before moving on is to understand that these active sled removers is to actually remove some of the stuff we talked about. And this stuff, uh, and actually some of the stuff that's left in the sludge at the bottom is scraped out and then usually put off to a biogas facilities, which we will put in. And we'll talk about the importance, not only for the Ivania assets, but the benefits to a city as well. So we have our pre-treatment area here. This is the primary treatment with these primary clarifiers. We then do move on to uh, secondary treatment. So it's not the clarifiers that come first. It would be these, an aeration basin. So if we look to place a couple of these assets and how they look, they would typically, uh, from my understanding, kind of work in this fashion, where there would be piping that would be pushing and leading into these facilities. And this helps um, basically take care of, you know, the remaining poo items. Uh, so there's microorganisms that love to chomp on what they call the contaminants, contaminants and uh, take care of things. So uh, very important aspect as part of this. So once again, we'll come back into our road network here. And although it would be simple enough to go, well, I'm just going to go up eight units, or I guess nine units, and then come across and take care of that. I guess it would be, uh, let's see here. I guess it's seven units. But we're actually going to come up another uh, eight units or yeah, eight units. And then we're going to come across and down. And that's simple 
Not that we will need additional aeration basins in this city based on its size and how much assets or what these assets actually take care of. But if you were building something uh, and this was your primary sewage treatment facility, you would want to make sure you'd have space for growth. Uh, and this is all an engineered process that has to go through these systems. So we're going to leave space for a couple additional aeration basins if, if the need did arise. So once we get past here, we're actually looking at the clarifiers. Oh, jumped around there. So we will come back and we will put in a series of these. So let's grab this one and we'll come and look at the size here and where they can go. So we will actually take the opportunity to leverage some of the space on this side over here. So we'll come back in and we are going to actually place four of these. I do want to make sure they're lined up. And now with those in, we can come in with our 1U roads. Oh, and we just got that. Perfect. So let's just finish this off. So it's looking pretty good. Uh, we have our min building, the bar and grit facility, our primary clarifiers, our Asian basins, and our secondary clarifiers. Now, basically uh, from the aeration basins into the secondary clarifiers, it does something fun. It's, um, so all those microorganisms that you think, okay, wait a minute, uh, all this and microorganisms and you know, this sounds bad, but the way these clarifiers or secondary clarifiers works is these microorganisms, since they're now fat with all the poo and crap they ate, they actually sink to the bottom and then they're sucked back in and put back in the aeration basins and they don't move on into that process. So basically it's fairly clean water as to what comes out of these clarifiers and moves forward. Now, one of the things that I find is missing from um, uh, Avanya's assets is a final treatment building. So, you know, these are pumping stations, which we'll take care of later to take care of the other water pumps. So we don't really have uh, what's for the final treatment, which is what kills the remaining bacteria. Uh, so this is in the final treatment step. And this is usually taken care of one of three ways, you know, chlorine, AKA bleach. Um, and this is, don't worry, it gets to chlorinate it before it goes back into the water system, but it's one of the parts of the final process. This is actually, I'm, uh, you know, I do go hiking and I have not had to use this method to treat my water because uh, I do have a Sawyer squeeze among other uh, filters, water filters. But people sometimes have to put little drops of bleach in to kill bacteria if they're in an area and they don't have access to a filter. Another way that they actually do this too at scale is UV filters. And this is once again, uh, something that is used as well by uh, uh, backcountry hikers and campers. And then the third method is, is uh, ozone, which, uh, oz which electrical charges, I'm, I'm not a scientist. So, but all to say is there's a final treatment process. So we will find a building that will simulate uh, this type of treatment. Um, So we will find a building that will simulate uh, this treatment uh, before it goes back into the water system. So we will find something to place back here, but before we do that, we will also add another little area. And this time we're gonna use uh, some 1U roads and we're gonna come up and we'll do this and we'll just find the size and that is uh, I think they're in here. And this is a uh, biogas facility. And I will, once again, I'll leave room for more, but we're gonna place two down. 
And I want to run a one-way network just to try to keep things efficient as possible. So what these facilities do is take uh, things like the sludge and it will actually uh, turn this into electricity. So in the case of uh, the Avania assets, it sends out garbage trucks, which could actually in theory collect garbage throughout the city. But to offset uh, some of the effects, I think it's more for noise pollution, uh, these things do produce a lot of garbage. So having biogas facilities are immensely helpful. So that will form the backbone of our facility. And we will do some detailing around here, but we're not, we're not fully done yet. So once again, we are going to put our one new roads. We'll connect them here. And the reason why we're not done yet is there are some buildings I do want to add. Uh, and that is if we come in here, come to find it, and I love this, is I downloaded some office buildings. We come in here, and this is a great feature of Find It. Uh, show extra filters panel, come up. You can search by asset creator, but you can also search by something building height. So I want to look for, yeah, there we go. We have these buildings here and it's part of an office pack and they're green roofed buildings. So I would think, and I know here in the city of Ottawa and I'm sure others around the world are working towards uh, creating environmentally friendly buildings and one way of that is a green roof. And I think these assets look pretty swish. I, I like how they look. So we are going to place a few around here to provide additional office space. And we kind of saw that in the city of Ottawa, Google. So we're going to take uh, this guy. We're going to put him back here. And these ones we are going to put in as a little campus area. But what I'm going to need to do is these guys are going to get besides awfully upset about not having water. Uh, actually, let's quickly take care of that right now. So we've got the water in, we got electricity down here, but I actually want uh, these two buildings down by uh, the administration building. And I do want to run a park because they've got water. Uh, let's get things running again. They should have water. But we're gonna, they're gonna get upset by not having enough services around here. So I am gonna come in and I will place uh, this plaza. So we will temporarily relocate these buildings again. So actually, no, we will keep these buildings up in this area. And then we'll come in off of this road here and we will once again put a parking lot in. And we will back these areas up. So I think this is looking pretty good. So we have a bit of a start here. Uh, we have our a little park area that will help keep these folks happy. We do have all our buildings kind of laid out, but we are missing a few things uh, besides the chlorinating building is we are missing security. So we have used a few assets uh, before. So if we look, uh, if we look, we've used the security checkpoint over in the power plant so we could use it uh, but i want to do something different now some people use the toll boost uh, i don't want to use that here because that would also take up a lot of space and you know we might fit a few city services over in this area oh i can see uh too few services so um so before this gets worse you know we'll, we'll keep him happy don't need a playground. 
We'll just come in and we will place a little plaza here as well. So the workers can come out and enjoy. Let's see how far we can push that back. So that should hopefully resolve the unhappiness here. So I do have this mod uh, looking at too few services. We'll keep an eye on it. We might have to come back and deal with this uh, and add some other services in. But we'll see if that works. Now, so getting back here, uh, I did download. So this UK holiday uh, park security is an option. So in the asset, it kind of shows it operating like this, but you know, people need to get through and this doesn't operate. So I think we're gonna work under the assumption that uh, we have this building here that allow people, to, this gate would normally be closed. And we will work with that. So with that in, uh, we will remove as well some more of these trees for here. We do need to secure this. So I do like uh, coming our fencing. I love the, I think it's the city gate. Uh, so the park fences, I should say. So we're going to basically fence this entire area in. So let me do that right now. Now, the other asset I do want to put in here, oh, and we'll just push you back. Uh, if we come back to our security, I did download some security cameras. Let's have a look at these. So we got this one, and we have this one as well. Now these all want to be along a road, which is fine. We can move them, but let's have a look. And we'll turn off the notifications. They're basically fairly similar. I like this one, it's got a little flashing red light, so let's go with it. So we're gonna take this. We will place these around the compound at various spots to kind of just remind people this is not a facility that uh, people can easily get into. So that's looking good, looking good. So now we have some detailing to do. Uh, so we will quickly do a detailing time lapse and we'll be right back.
now that we have our detailing finished up, uh, let's have a quick tour of this facility as we watch a car just drive somewhere where they're not supposed to. And then we'll come back and have a little chit chat about what we're going to do with the sewage network and all the buildings that we've added from Avanya's uh, great asset list. So if we have a look at our build here, uh, I think it's come together quite well, but we do need to deal with a small capacity issue. Uh, in this case, it's an overcapacity issue. So if we click on our water, you can see with everything hooked up, we are being able to take care of 1.9 million cubic feet uh, of, or cubic meters of um, per week. So well exceeding our production capacity. So we're definitely dealing too much. We will deal with our water availability uh, next episode, but let's first, before we start doing some stuff here with the, uh, the stuff we've used with the Vanya, let's go have a look back at our old public works facility. So here we are at our old facility, well, I guess our current one, and we are going to decommission uh, these three equal inland water treatment processing plants. So if we go back 1.9 million, and we're just gonna remove them because um, we don't need them. So just let the game run and let's see if we are now down to 1.65. So uh, a little bit of a dip, but not enough. So let's head back to our new wastewater treatment facility. So if we come here, we can see we have all of our assets connected but we will start uh, just turning some of them off. Oop, we don't want to delete anything. So we are going to turn off basically uh, all but one clarifier, or I guess secondary clarifier, all but one primary clarifier, and all but one aeration basin. And we'll see where that brings us down to. We're down to 1 million. Uh, oh, well, even further now, as they've all started turning off. So we'll leave it there at, you know, 747,000. Uh, if we come in and look at our budget, we're gonna have to leave it where it is for now at 115% because we do need to take care of our water availability, which is just on the line. And we're not gonna put it a part of this facility. So I really hope you enjoyed uh, this episode. I really enjoyed doing some research and trying to figure out how a water treatment facility works, what the assets are, and a big special shout, well, shout out to Ivania, who's had these assets in the workshop. Uh, they are great assets. I think it really adds to a build. Um, just to point out a few things, uh, I did, just use some props here to create uh, what I think is more of the chlorinator and, you know, uh, but just, I, I figured that worked instead of adding another building. So I really think this, this came together, you know, a nice um, set of trees along the highway here, basically to put a natural barrier. Uh, it's not necessarily the praise of assets to look at, but I think it really came together. So if you did enjoy uh, today's episode, I would very much appreciate if you would like the video, leave a comment down below, tell me what you liked, uh, let me know if I've missed something, uh, did I get something wrong about a water treatment facility. And of course, if you haven't already, I, I do hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching. And uh, until next time, bye for now.